I am here with some Call of Duty World War II multiplayer because uh, you guys have been asking and so I decided to uh, do some and I always wait till at least for normal videos I wait until I am done with the campaign or story mode whatever you want to call it till I do the multiplayer aspect of the game mostly because I want to get the feel and the story and all of that at least on my channel for the game before I put multiplayer and all that and the extra stuff that's just the way I like to do it as you can see here's my uh, KD and all that stuff I've played 16 almost 17 hours on multiplayer uh, KD's looking all right uh, yeah not not as great as I normally am but oh well let us do some normal team deathmatch I will crop out probably I'll, I'll try to have a whole game that's good I might just keep a whole game might just do whatever um, this is my first attempt at recording this so we will see how it goes uh, I will hopefully have the people chat let's see mute all I will mute everyone just for the fact of one privacy and two normally people are annoying as shit let's see where do we want to go I'll go right here solid so I really don't have that much unlocked because I did prestige I'm actually level 21 per on prestige t prestige one I think it is I've only, I've only prestige one so I think it's prestige one but eh, I don't know <laughs> so I'm just using the m1941 it's actually a damn good gun the only problem I have with it is the ammo is uh, it has a pretty low magazine clip but besides that, it uh, it's pretty good. It has a very high fire rate as well. I do like the PPSH. Uh, I do have a different variance. And then I use the secondary bolt action, which I will show you for my sniper rifle. Mostly because it is the most accurate, highest, most one of the highest damages. It has a torso and above for a one-hit kill. And the one after that it kind of sucks because the accuracy is very far down and i will take accuracy over damage because if i wanted damage i'd use a fucking lmg rather than a sniper <laughs> so yeah um i am pre-recording a lot of videos lately wow that is pretty loud hopefully it does not affect eliminate the enemy team okay I hope it does not stay extremely loud. Cause... Yeah. Got his ass. Seeming like it's gonna. Are you fucking retarded, teammates? Wow. You are. God damn them. Fucking dumbasses. Come on, bitch. Should be coming through here. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's just focus on this. It's been a while since I've actually played this, and yeah. I fucking hate espionage. I'm actually using it though, but it's the most overpowered perk or whatever in this game. I turned down the audio because it's blowing my ears out. Hopefully it's good for you guys, but I doubt it is. Just because it's normally pretty shitty. I would have been surprised if I didn't get that, but he had a sniper, so. Or he could have had an M1 Grand. Okay, let's get resituated here. I do like my mouse and keyboard. I, uh, it's from Eagle Tech. But it doesn't really uh, stay still very well. Could be the place in which I have it set up, but yeah, I doubt it because keyboard should stay still no matter what. So. Got an aircraft in your area. Get down here. Switch to this, dude. The I'm just saying. The fucking machine pistol is like the best secondary you can get. It is amazing. Okay, again, nice little kill streak here. 
Oh, I don't have any frags left. That kind of sucks. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, you guys get to see the Azon bomb, whatever, glide bomb, basically. It said I could fucking hit him there. So that's not really how you're supposed to use it. You're supposed to get a kill with it, but, you know. If I'd have lost that, that would have been sad. Yeah, normally I do, like, I go real fast and I move faster. But right now I'm just kind of taking it slow, getting a feel for recording while doing multiplayer as well. Because I'm not used to uh, the pressure of having to do well and all that. Because I really want to just get... The bayonet charge is honestly one of the most powerful secondary, uh, like, ability things that you can get. Shit! Yeah, that's, that's, oh, wow. Okay, that's nice. The bayonet charge is probably one of the most powerful ones besides the suppressor. The suppressor is powerful, but it doesn't really do much. I mean, it's a suppressor. What, what do you expect? The bayonet charge, though, is very powerful because... It is basically an instant kill. It, uh, literally, you just bayonet charge, and if you come near the enemy, then, uh, you fucking die. <laughs> no, they, they get killed. So you can, if there was an enemy in that room, and I just bayonet charged in there, and I just turned anywhere near them, I, I don't think I have to turn there. I just fucking, enemy recon you'll wreck their observed. ass. I needed to stop, uh, not really free firing, but missing, because this thing goes through ammo like a champ. Like, it is pretty. Fuck, I was trying to dive in there, because I didn't know where the hell he was. He was really right there with a the pistol, that's kind of sad. Let's see how we're doing. 11 and 6, that's, that's alright, but... I fucking hate cunts who do that. Seriously. All the fucking bastards who just sit there and snipe, just fucking ruin that. Why did you fucking crap? I meant, I tried to dive, but it didn't fucking let me dive. So, that's nice. Oh well. Okay. What the- Lovely. Do they still have a fucking plane out or not? Because if they do, someone needs to fucking shoot that down, or... It's kind of weird, though, how I knew I was right there. Recon searching for target. <clears throat> Enemy counter recon aircraft That's nice. It is a pretty good change how they made it, so... The, basically, counter UAV. It just stopped radar not actual like the maps you're a dick okay that was an that was an all right match 13 and 10 could have done better should have done better but wow fuck. that guy's a douche let's see martini time 12 and 14 he's trash getting mad because he's trash yeah i should have done way better than 13 and 10 but oh well uh i don't know if i'll cut stuff out I'll probably cut out the lobby waiting time, so. That was decent, 13-10, eh, so. I do like this, uh, the little taunt things, but also it does get annoying when you actually do lose, so, eh. I do have my favorites, well, at least my favorite setup for this gun is high caliber because then you get headshots just amazingly quick it's awesome um oh, i do have this i did unlock this that looks pretty fucking cool over that that looks pretty sick but it doesn't really no is it still gonna god damn it machine pistol i do like that it's a fucking it, it should look like that but instead it looks like there i want to get this or yeah, I want the fucking gold shit. I'll put that on there just so I don't... Extended mags. Yes, that is the thing you need with there. Alright, so the uh, other match, didn't, the second one, did not really go as planned. So that kind of sucked. But, oh well. I, 
I really don't hate this map, or I really, and I really don't like it. It's not the best nor the worst. I'd say the worst is fucking. Oh, I don't even know what it is. It's like the it, the picture is like fucking trenches and shit. I don't know. It's not the suited points because that's actually a really good one. That's like all trenches. It's the one that has a picture of a trench, but you don't have any fucking trenches in there. It's like the city and shit. I should really just stay with fucking machine guns and not because I tried it was a uh, guild fist or whatever the fuck it was and uh, I tried using shotgun because that's like my favorite map to use a shotgun on I got wrecked yeah I fucking quit because somehow they knew where I was every time so I was assuming hacker oh voice crack I was assuming maybe hackers but because this game actually is filled with fucking hackers but some cunts coming that way. Let's just stay around this way because they don't know where the fuck I am. Do I not have any fucking. Did I already use my frag or something? You dicks. They fucking cornered me because my teammates suck ass and can't keep themselves alive. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Enemy recon aircraft observed. We need reinforcements. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck was that explosion? We have fire superiority. We should. I was going fucking fire. ham on them. Recon flight concluded. We're breaking their backs. There was a cunt right there. But fucking teammates. Can't uh, like to press forward. Looking for another cause I thought I saw something, but oh well. Okay, they're still back this way, I guess. That is horse shit. Fuck you. Okay. Also, it may sound like I'm getting very mad. I just like to fucking say shit. It's kind of fun. Rather than, I mean, you know. Let it out rather than keep it in. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna go all the way back here and fucking flank their ass. Damn it. Fucking couldn't stab that cunt. He's too fast, but oh well. Yeah, there's someone back here. Because we didn't spawn back there. That's the thing. When you spawn forward, it usually means someone's over here. Because fucking Call of Duty has no problem spawning you just away from all the action. What the hell? Let's see this shit. Oh. Okay. I thought he fucking jumped up and shot me. But no, he just fucking... Reload already. Stop! Snipers need to be nerfed, honestly. I hate all the fucking snipers in this because of their scoping speed. It does need to be nerfed. I do think they're nice to use, but to go against them is a pain in the dick. Care package on the way. Protect the drop zone. Bitch. I thought I fucking missed him. <laughs> well. Enemy mortar fire incoming. Got his ass. Where the fuck is Can't that coming out? Yeah, I just fucking ran all the way around him. How did Okay. My hand kinda slipped there, that's why. Incoming enemy artillery. Get Shit, it's coming right there. Okay. At least we know where it's coming rather than There's another dude. Shit. Oh, wow, that was solid. Oh, fuck artillery, though. Thank you for letting up. You're very kind. Oh, shit. You're trash. That that was very trash on your part. It, there's... I, I didn't even see him. 
He started shooting me. I'm like, fuck. And I actually got him. Oh, wow. If I'd have got him, though. Because that was very sad on my part. But also, if I would have got him, that would have been hella plays. How are we losing? Is my team that bad? Okay, using a shotgun on this map, you're a cunt. This is not a clue. Oh my god! I was just about to get, kill him and get fucking murdered. Wow. Come on, please say that's the play of the game. I swear, if that's not the play of the game, there is no play of the game. Wow, thanks for uh, disconnecting you, cunts. Nope, never mind. There was. Okay. Okay. That's really not that impressive. I am highly disappointed in the AI that chooses to get play the game simply because it did not choose that grenade kill. That's... Oh my god. Yeah, also, if you didn't know, that's a new thing in this, is they don't show the actual final kill cam. An AI chooses what it feels to... Not really feels, but what it thinks to be the best play of the game. It's kind of weird, actually. Like, it's pretty strange in the fact that they can actually do that. So, I'm considering doing another game. I think... Hmm. Unfortunately, it's not a live stream, so I can't just ask you guys. But, let's see. We're only about at 20 or so minutes. Um, people have complained to me about the length of the videos. So... I will show you guys just the rest of my class setups, and then I will end the video. So basically, I just have the normal combat shotgun. It's the best shotgun, because toggle action, toggle action sucks dick. It is the worst shotgun you can get. The double barrel, it's alright. Uh, it, you can basically get... Two quick kills. It's basically the Olympia from Black Ops 1, except for the reload rate is hella slow. Combat shotgun is it's good. It is basically a one-hit kill. In, like it says, one-hit kill in close quarters. It has, I don't know if it's the highest damage or not, but it's pretty fucking good. Like, the only thing is, is the Expeditionary... Uh, special ability the f basically is uh, fire shells this is basically for everyone who hasn't played it yet or really done much research into it which I did have that on why did it not show me that that pisses me off and I will change espionage to hustle because I like hustle so <coughs> excuse me and Mountain, I have the Lee Enfield. I don't have any attachments because I prestiged it. Yes, I do still have that. Uh, I will put... Ooh, kill counter. I have not had that before. Let's see, camouflage. Camouflages are all right. Takes away from the gun to me anyway. I do like the just normal brown wooden look of it. Though, I would put the bronze on it if I did have it. I would put the copper on it. That looks all right. That, eh, that looks okay. That looks pretty shitty. Then, basically, until you get up till the oak leaf, they look pretty shitty. <laughs> that leads to me. It just doesn't seem like it should be that. I think I'll put the plant up. Platin musto. So, I'm just gonna... And here's the snake. This is pretty cool. So, the PPSH... Well, for all you know, most of you know, anyway. Here's the original PPSH. And then, there are variants to the gun. There's the Iron Curtain, which is all right like this is iron curtain one the two is it stands out that's that's what that's the least you can say the thrive is all right excuse me the thrive two i mean it's basically 
the first version and stuff, it's rugged, you know, battle worn, all that shit. The second version's new and clean. That's really all it is. This reminds me of the Kipperis from Black Ops One. But yeah, the snake looks alright. I wish I had that variant, but it still looks okay. Um Yeah. The and then I use this. I was using SCG forty four for a while, but once I prestiged, I didn't have really that many tokens to unlock. I have sixteen now, but I didn't really have that many. Grease gun, let us see. I do have a pretty co cool variant for it. It is the Roxy, which uh, looks kind of retarded if you if you you know really do look at it. And then the Brandy looks. It's what it is. I don't use this at all. I don't use this gun. Uh, MP40. Honestly, my just honest opinion on the MP40 in this game, it sucks. It really, really sucks, and it's terrible because. In Modern Warfare, no, Modern Warfare, sorry, World War Two in uh, World at War, sorry, could not get the name right. Uh, in World at War, the MP40 was the god weapon. They made it so shitty, at least compared to the PPSH. PPSH has eight fire rate. MP40, eight fire rate. It does not feel the same. Damage is six. Damage is six. Range is six. Range is only five. Accuracy is 5. Accuracy is 6. The accuracy, obviously, makes up a huge difference. It, It's just retarded on how much it fucking actually does make a difference. So, sniper rifles. Lee Enfield is the best one. The car, it's alright. That's the best I can say. It's alright. Wait, I already prestige these fuckers, though. I thought... Oh, I know, that was the rifle that I prestiged to get the SVT. My bad. But, yeah. You got the, the carbon, which is alright for the beginning weapon. It has six damage, which, two shot, hit from above. It's a two shot. You're not going to get very many kills with it. This is a one shot from torso and above. So, you hit them anywhere where you should actually aim, and you get a one hit kill. This one is like the highest dam or highest one kill. Sorry. Highest? Or largest one hit kill radius in the entire thing however it is the least accurate car I haven't used because it's prestige and I obviously haven't prestige yet because you get to keep this stuff when you prestige light machine guns I've only used the Lewis it's goddamn fun to use it is really fun I mean excuse me I've had a lot of fun with this uh, I've actually prestige it twice I think so that shows you how much fun I've had with it. This one just looks really weird. That The Bren sucks because of the way it's reloaded. This one, the way it's reloaded is really interesting. The clip is really interesting. I do like the sights. <laughs> it looks like a little coat hanger right there on the stock. Look at that. Uh, the bipod on it, though. The ability is interesting. It takes from Battlefield and, like, this normal use of the bipod. But it really sucks because it, it just doesn't serve a purpose in a run-and-gun game. I mean, if you're s sitting somewhere providing Overwatch, that's fine. But in actual the g in actual game, it, it sucks. Um, I've only used this, this, and this. I haven't used anything else. Uh, I haven't used the SVT, which I might. But... Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like rating down below. If you're new, subscribe, and ding down the notification bell to get notified whenever I post video, live streaming, and etc. If you have any constructive criticism, feedback, or just comments in general, comment down below, and I'll be sure to check them out. And see you guys in the next episode.